Hello everyone, my name is Thomas Röbelreiter. I'm working for the Austrian Research Promotion Agency uh, as a project manager for the Enterprise Europe Network. Uh, this is a huge network with 450 organizations and USP is finding international partners. And I would like to share my experiences uh, of the last 20 years. What can you expect? So first we will have a look at uh, a model, uh, what to take care. Uh, then uh, let's have a look how you make a plan, how to make a strategy, um, then um, how to identify partners directly, indirectly, getting in contact with them to leave a good first impression and uh, do the follow up. Good. Let's have a look at this model. So here you can see um, a typical bell curve. And uh, if you're representing uh, a disruptive technology, it's important here that finding first clients doing a proof of concept, only 2.5% of all potential business clients are interested in you. So search for the most innovative uh, companies uh, and get in contact with them. You could see that the uh, early adopters are just 13.5% uh, and so on. Good. Um, then let's go to the plan. Having a plan is always a good idea. Um, so you need to do some research um, to get an idea where to start and why to start there. So uh, the first tip I can give you is uh, get in contact with your network. They usually know the neighboring countries, uh, uh, they, you have international partners and they have made experiences they can uh, exchange with you. Um, of course, you should Google. Uh, Google provides a lot of information um, about uh, market studies, etc. cetera. Um, I also would like to recommend to you the portal Your Europe. So you could see the link on the slide. Your Europe uh, provides a lot of information about the European Union countries. Uh, so how to found a company, uh, how, if you have employees there, what to take care for, and also which organizations provide advice. So if you, if you have further questions. Um, well, also Enrich provides a lot of advice and you should get in contact with them. Um, you. Uh, you should also um, get in contact with the Chamber of Commerce. So the Federal Austrian Chamber of Commerce has 100 subsidies abroad and uh, they, they have a network there uh, you can use. And uh, the last advice here is please take care that you have at least an English website available. Uh, so this, I, I'm, I have clients, they do not have it. and it's very difficult then to succeed in international partnering. Good, let's come to the next step in then identifying potential collaboration partners. So I distinguish here between the direct search and the indirect search. And uh, the direct search, of course, first address is Google. So just Google and you will find for sure some interesting hits. But Google provides just uh, uh, information of companies who are in, in the digital space quite active. Um, clusters are also a very, very good source for potential collaboration partners. There is a European cluster collaboration platform. You can see the link on my slide. And if you would like to enter, for example, the French market, you will in, in, in this, the field sustainable energy, you will find classes there. The classes provide member platforms uh, you can search for, or you can get in contact with the cluster managers. Um, another source uh, is Quartis. Uh, Quartis is the database of the European Union for all funded projects. And uh, there are a lot of projects there. Uh, and I think the first framework program was launched in 1987. Uh, so have a look and those companies, they are innovative. Um, yeah, LinkedIn also is a good source. You can look for persons with a working in a specific branch and with a specific job title. Um, well, but you can also use uh, the indirect partner search and uh, the Chamber of Commerce is providing that kind of, of, of service. Just get in contact with them. 
uh, but also the Enterprise Europe network uh, I'm working for. So we have several services in supporting you to find the, the right international partner. You can find the link on the slide. Good. Then you, 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 you're entering the phase of getting in contact. And uh, this is about leaving a good first or great first impression. And usually we send an email. Uh, well, but we all get too many emails and uh, we don't answer to, to, to strange or foreign emails. We don't know the, uh, the sender. So um, email is fine, but uh, first you should start why you would like to collaborate and the benefits um, uh, for, uh, for, for the addressed person. Um, next is please keep it short. So I've made really good experience in sending uh, two, three line emails uh, and then ask for a telephone call. Um, I also, if emails don't work, I made the experience contacting people via LinkedIn sometimes works fine. So just uh, use the message. Uh, you can enter 300 signs and tell them why you would like to get in contact. That, that may work. Um, I personally prefer um, meetings in person. So I visit a lot of events uh, in the evening because people are relaxed then if you stand together with a glass of wine in your hand, uh, you can really make high quality connections. Um, yeah, then I would like to introduce you matchmaking events. Uh, matchmaking events are really great way to get in contact with the right people. So usually when you go to a conference um, with 200 participants and you do networking, uh, you take a coffee, go to a table and then uh, talk to the person right or left of you and introduce you and well, start a conversation. Um, but that's not very efficient because you can talk to five, maybe 10 people there. Uh, and uh, matchmaking events uh, offer the opportunity to uh, insert your collaboration wishes uh, during the registration process. And people can book meetings with you before the event. And then you have uh, you have a schedule you, where you say, okay, at, at table one, you have uh, first meetings at two o'clock in the, in, in the morning and, uh, sorry, in, in the afternoon, and uh, then have 20 minutes time to get to know each other and then the next meeting starts. Uh, the Enterprise Europe Network is, is organizing hundreds of that event, also the European, the European Commission. Uh, so have a look, please. Well, and then the last advice is uh, recommendations. So if you have, if you know someone who could introduce you to a new person, potential uh, collaboration partner, please do so. That's great. Good. Um, then you, ha you have done your, your first contact. You get to know each other. Um, then you may have some, some leads where you think, wow, that, that would be fantastic if this, uh, if, if a collaboration, uh, can be established. So, um, do a follow up. It's important to do it as soon as possible. And there is the sooner the better. So if you do it five minutes after the meeting, it's perfect. So, uh, just recap what you have discussed and uh, and, and and send your uh, your meeting partner an email that you're looking forward to to future collaboration. Um, I also recommend to um, to connect via LinkedIn. So this this is great because um, people know then what you're doing. Uh, they uh, they see your post and they also could find you easily after maybe several months or two or three years and they think they think now it's the you know it's a, it's good time to get in contact to uh to introduce a project idea good that's it from my side so i hope this was valuable for you uh thanks a lot hello again and thank you very much for participating in this this class and this topic uh, it's a pleasure for us to have you with us in our program so I would like to, to thank you again and just say that uh, the Enriching Lux Center, it's an association uh, that's located in Latin America. And obviously we put together, as I mentioned before, we put together Europe and Latin America. As a center, we coordinate this, we coordinate the services, and we are at your disposal to support you in any time, in any sense, uh, to make possible 
our main objective, which is innovation, internationalization, and make sure that we come to, to the reality and projects that will benefit not only our business and our companies, but also the whole humanity. Thank you very much for being there, for being here with us. Bye-bye.